y'all welcome or welcome back to true to shelf i am back with the second part of my five star trilogy first video i shared what makes a five star book in my opinion and then today's the second part sharing the five stars the last part will be me reading one star reviews of a few of these books so i don't have a lot of five stars and that's because first i was in like a like a five year long reading slump so i haven't read actively in a long time before this year and also i'm just stingy with my five stars i said in the first part when I was sharing my criteria for a five star, I'm just not handing out five stars like candy. You know what I'm saying? Like a book really has to be phenomenal all across the board for me to give it a five star. So let's not waste any more time and get on into it. So I'm not gonna go in any specific order. I have two stacks here and I'm just gonna start at the top. So this one is just one look by Lindsay Cameron. I read this earlier this year super super well written thriller major plot twist i have not seen any lindsey cameron books mention on booktube as of yet so definitely recommend this one another one another mystery thriller rock paper scissors by alice feeney this book had so many plot twists it was like on the verge of being cruel how can you come up with this so many plot twists in one book. It was well written, kept me on the edge of my seat, could not put it down, CPD factor. It was just so, so good. She definitely became one of my favorite authors this year, just from this book. This is my most recent read. I just finished this a couple days ago. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Y'all, this book was such a good adult romance. It was so well written. It was funny. It had a lot of tropes in it. It's just not your typical love story in my opinion. It left me with a lot of things that I just keep repeating to myself basically like grace costs you nothing. I keep saying that because that's facts. And then as I look at my love life after reading this it's like men in the future like need to look at me as their non-negotiable <laughs> after reading this. So so good. One of my favorite books. This is a very recent read as well. Mad Honey by Jodi Picoult. I think that's how you pronounce it and Jennifer Finney Boylan. Y'all this book was so good. Like it was ridiculous how they intercepted like bees and honey that thing throughout the whole entire book every character every event they tie it back to honey and bees in some kind of way and I think that is so interesting it was super educational and informative it was progressive kept me on the edge of my seat it was realistic like it was just so good this book also included a plot twist that like shocked me. I definitely had a mindset shift after reading this and on top of that the cover is just so cute like the color scheme fire like I can't say enough about it. That is definitely one of the best books I ever read in my life. Y'all this one An Orchestra of Minorities by Chikozi Obioma. This one was so good but it was good in a way that frustrated me like this book does not have a happy ending okay and this book served as that reminder that every book is not gonna have a happy ending and it doesn't have to you know like the guy doesn't get the girl the problem isn't solved and sometimes authors leave endings for your interpretation you know what I'm saying so that's what this was it frustrated me I felt pity for the characters I felt sorry for the main character this is a tragedy complex is definitely a good word for this um says it's about love and sacrifice i would not classify this as a love story at all but it was so good y'all it was told from the perspective of a spirit guy that's been on the earth for about 600 years so just imagine the complexity of reading a book from a man that's 600 years old you know what i'm saying it was just so good it was centered around african culture so it was super informative at the same time and just interesting it was just so so good you could tell the author put like his heart and soul in this book definitely recommend this if you're into complex reads 
Next one, I've mentioned this book so many times on this channel so far, so I won't say much about it today, but Magic Hour by Kristen Hanna. So, so good. Really, really high up in my five stars. And she has become one of my favorite authors from this book. So can't wait to read more of her work in 2024. Another one I've mentioned a few times, Locked Door by Frida McFadden. This was so good. I read this book in less than 24 hours. Such a good mystery thriller. CPD factor all the way. Really, really good plot twist at the end that shocked me. It's the kind of book that you're thinking one thing this whole time and then you get to the plot twist and it's like okay you idiot like you know what i'm saying that's the type of plot twist it was for me can't wait to read more freedom mcfadden as well in the new year another good adult romance soulmate equation by christina lauren i will say if you are not into science like at all if you don't have any type of interest reading that this is probably not the book for you but i personally didn't mind how they intertwine that into this but it was a really really good book it was funny y'all this book i literally remember laughing out loud at least two or three times when reading this book that never happens to me it was definitely funny enjoyable well written and a good love story the couple in this book and the couple in part of your world by abby jimenez are my two favorite book couples <laughs> then my first fantasy novel as an adult was a five star kingdom of ash and briars by hannah west y'all this book was so good uh i have a reading vlog about this book so i'm not gonna go too into it and i went in with low expectations because i don't read fantasy but i decided to switch it up this year and get into the genre and this is actually a series so i'm going to try to read the other two books in the new year but this was so good and it's ya that shocked me as well it's one of those books like you forget you're reading because they put you into the fictional world so well it's like you feel like you're in it that is what she achieved in this book it was so freaking good like so if you're into fantasy i highly recommend this book y'all this one is very controversial and i have been sitting on this book for a long time but i finally got around to it verity by colleen hoover now i will say this book was hard to read it was triggering it was upsetting but it was so good like it was just i don't know i don't know it was just so good like <laughs> the plot twist was so good it was two plot twists i would say in this it was a lot of spice but it was well written spice in my opinion again just like i said in the locked door you was thinking one thing and it happens to be just a whole different ball game going on <laughs> and i understand people's frustration with this book and people side-eyeing colleen hoover for writing this but it was just executed so well the story so yeah i don't know and it's one of those type of books that she got people talking and people are going to talk about this book for a very very long time like people are going to debate about this book for a very long time it was just a phenomenally executed book uncomfortable but it was just so good that's how i feel about verity all right and there's two more and these are the ones i have read in my younger years i read them in high school y'all so either in high school or right after graduating high school i know for a fact this was high school this was um, a life intercepted by charles martin now i do wonder if i read this as an adult would i feel the same way would i still give it a five star i don't know but i'm not a book rereader so i probably won't reread it ever but this was a five star <laughs> when i read it at that time of my life i remember it shifting my thoughts on how we look at men who are falsely accused of assault and sexual assault because unfortunately Unfortunately, some women do lie about that and that is unfortunate and some men are affected by it heavily you know this book opened my eyes to that it did have a lot of sports talk in it thankfully i don't really care about that there's a love story in it intertwined as well so it was a really really good book i really really enjoyed it at that time i'm gonna keep it in my five star list and then lastly y'all the woman in the window by aj finn this is now a really popular netflix movie but it was a book first and i read the book years before it became a netflix movie and watching the movie second after reading the book i realized that the book was so much better like the movie just 
uh, it fell short for me basically but the book cpd factor it was so good i remember not being able to put this down being on the edge of my seat i really liked the main character and i related to her in a way that i could understand she had a phobia of going outside and i remember my grandma telling me that she suffered from that as well for a certain time period in her life so i definitely understood this character on a different level because i knew someone close to me that had that same phobia so a really great executed book and i didn't think of it but i need to read more from aj finn because this was really good all right y'all so those were all my five stars it's not many i think it's what 10 or 11 1 2 3 4 5 10 11 12 12 five stars so hopefully in the new year i will come across at least 10 more hopefully more if you want to see what makes a five star book in my opinion i will link that video down below and stay tuned for the third video in my trilogy when i read some one star reviews of some of these books so definitely stay tuned i hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next one sorry, tell me you wouldn't keep leaving, little baby you sorry.